Today, we continue to explore the sin of resentment. On Sunday, we had the very dramatic story of the whole vineyard, a whole community, the social sin of resentments and scapegoating. Here, we have a more personal human example, but just as real. What makes Martha get so upset? She's not thinking of Jesus. She's not thinking of the task at hand. She is evidently a talented woman. Martha, if she were living today, should have her own cooking show and home entertainment service. But no, she's not thinking of the gifts that God gave her. She's festering on her sister. She's allowing resentment to build, and resentment is the great detour, or rather the blockade to grace. The Lord God in Jesus offers grace abundantly. It's flowing from the heavens. We just have to be here to absorb it. But when we give in to envy, when we give in to resentment, when we're comparing ourselves to others, which is probably the sin we are most all guilty of, as Martha is, we lose the grace. We lose the sense that Jesus is with us. Martha could have appreciated her talents and she could have done the preparations knowing and listening to Jesus as she worked. It's a choice that all of us have as we work, when we get in trouble, when we're, when we're tempted to give in to frustrations. Jesus is already there. So, yes, there is the time to be as Mary, totally contemplative, totally at peace and quiet in individual prayer. But most of us, as Martha, have tasks to do, have work to do, but we take Jesus with us. So as we come to the Eucharist today, may we not pray, uh, may we not just pray in a rote way. Let, we, let us pray in a personal way, identifying when we get resentful, when we start comparing ourselves to others, ungrateful for the wondrous person God has made in each of you, in all of us.